Daryl, hard fought but well deserved three points? Yeah, I think so. I think so. We've had to defend well a couple of occasions, uh, second half, but I think we've, uh, we've created enough chances ourselves. But really delighted with the, the team work ethic to, to get that clean sheet. And you have to dig in away from home uh, at times. They asked us a few more questions second half. I thought pretty in control first half, but we knew they'd come out uh, firing on all cylinders. But we, we started quite well second half. We've had one or two chances to potentially put the game to bed or give us a 2-0 advantage and, and didn't quite take them, but delighted with the three points. It was about digging in to a certain extent, wasn't it, today, and being patient, I suppose. Winning football matches are if you can. So I always say it. In, in, in this league and other leagues, you, you've got to find different ways of trying to win. Today, I thought we played some cracking football at times. We've created some good opportunities. And when we've had to defend, we've had to defend. And none more so than Nathan Smith, who's putting eight, probably eight, nine, eight to ten stitches in his eye, heads the backer, heads the ball and heads the player in, the, in injury time. And I, I just love players like him. You know, he gets stitches in. No doubt he'll probably want to train Monday. That's, that's the characters we want. And they're the characters you need in your team to come here to, to, to pick up the three points. That back three have been disciplined all season, but I think you could you could really see that today, couldn't you? How they held the shape and, and, and didn't get ruffled. No, they did, and the keeper's pulled off a good couple of saves at the right time and, and, and done very well, and he's got his fifth clean sheet. And uh, we said before the game, uh, well, I said before the game that we, I've been here with teams before and we've lost, I've lost and we've won. It's a tight pitch, and if you let them get a foothold in the game, the, the Scunny fans can create a good atmosphere. We wanted to quiet that down, and we did with our first half performance. The goal coming both at the time it did and the way in which he scored, a real show of determination and some skill involved Great in that. Great bit of quality, Nick Wilson takes it down nicely, Tom Collins' composure, Ben Garrity's midfield run, so no, really pleased, really pleased for Ben. Although he's having a dig at me coming off at the end there, I love it. No, I love it. You know, he's a I'm the fittest player in the club, I'm all right. I said, no, I love that, Ben. But it's, it's, it's what I want. It's the mentality I want in the players, in the group, and, and delighted that he's got his goal there. I'm going to say he's fit, but, you know, he does run himself into the ground doing what he, he does. does. And I was looking, I'm thinking, he, maybe, you know, when, and we've got good players on the bench that can come on and freshen it up and gives a little bit more, more energy. But uh, now, really, really pleased for the, for the, uh, for the lads. We talked previously in the season about the team needing to gel together. Are you seeing that now? Now you've seen the relationships being no, built. We, we, we're not even a court way through. I keep saying to you, it's, it's, it takes time. It takes time. The results are good at the minute. You know, these speed bumps away. Just, just relax. Just go to the next game. You, I get frustrated. You know that with you guys. We just get carried away with it. It's, 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 it's a good win, a away win. That's all it is. We, we're going to enjoy it like we do tonight. And the fans, by the way, it was magnificent. Absolutely magnificent all game again, away from home. So we're pleased we sent them back with three points. But for me, it's just focus on the next game. This is not the right time to say three wins on the bounce in your fifth, then. No, because it's chip paper, isn't it? Tomorrow morning it'll be chip paper, and we all know in this division you can quickly go on bad runs as well as good runs. So the key is to keep level grounded, to keep consistent with our work, and that's what we'll be doing.